Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're gonna do a Let's Play Forgive Me Father in VR. Now, I'm gonna say this game does not officially support VR. And I don't recommend it uh, that you buy this game just for the VR experience. However, it's running on Unreal Engine 4. And the art style really looks good in VR. There is a grainy effect, post effect that they're the game uses if they would get rid of this grainy effect this would really pop in VR it would really look visually stunning but I still think it looks good in VR and I'm a little bit too low in the ground so I'm gonna go ahead and recenter my view manually in uh, the oculus now I can only confirm that this works on the oculus quest 2 using link cable but I would suspect it works on every VR headset but keep in mind it does not support motion controllers, so beware. And there's several issues with this experience in VR. Again, does not officially support VR, so keep that in mind. And to get this to work to work in VR, I mentioned this is running on the Unreal Engine 4. And the way you get it to work in VR is basically you type in minus VR in the launch options for the game. If you don't know how to do that, basically you go to the game on your Steam library, you right click on the game, and you go to properties. And then on the general tab, you type in minus VR, that's one word. And then it'll run in VR. Wait, what happened to my, oh, there it is. I was like, what happened? Why am I not getting this ammo? Okay, that, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, all right. But there are several issues with the VR experience. Uh, probably the biggest thing is that you can't see the menu. That's pretty big. <laughs> oh man, I did not want to get the shotgun. Yet. So you can't see the menu, so it's dif difficult to start the game. You kind of have to memorize it, uh, how to do it. Especially if you're loading into a new game. Well, it's actually easier to load a new game, to load your last save than it is to start a new game. But, uh, you know, if you play it in non VR just a few times, you'll kind of memorize the menus and how to navigate them without being able to see them. Because, again, you won't be able to see them in VR. All right, I think we're, we're good. Oh, no, no, we don't want to go down there. <laughs> we don't want to go down there. Whoa. But we do want to get this ammo. Okay. <laughs> um, like I said, though, there are several issues. You can't see the gun reticle. The menus you can't see. Uh, you also can't see... your health or how many bullets you have. That's kind of important information. Um, I'm not sure on the upgrades. I played that in non-VR. I was able to do the upgrades in non-VR, but I have a feeling it'll be hard in VR to do the upgrades. Of course, you can always switch between non-VR and VR, 
uh, to do those menu actions. And uh, oh no. I hate that part. <laughs> and I don't think we saved. Somehow the Yeah, we have to start all over. Okay. Okay. Or, or maybe not. No, we have to start all over. Or is everyone dead? Okay, I think everyone's dead, so I think we're good. Okay, alright. There's normally like a save point right here, I believe, right? Or am I missing something? Yeah, that's not the easy way. That's a that's a lie. <laughs> I don't know what happened to our safe point. I think our safe point is bugged. Oh well. But, uh, yeah. So there's several issues with the VR experience. I think I got used to playing without the reticle, so that's not really a big issue. But not being able to see your house or bullets, I, it's a pretty big issue. Um,. Ooh, I survived. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that section. It's just luck. Okay, alright. Alright, so we got the first level. And these scenes are like way too close to your face. So you can't really see them. Oh, what happened? Okay, we're definitely bugged. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You know, I like this game. I like the experience. That's really the first time this game has bugged like it, like it has right now. Because uh, like I said, there's usually a save point. This game is in early access, so keep that in mind. Um, I like the gameplay, and uh, but it's obviously some kind of save bug that we ran into. I hadn't run into that issue before, so this is the first time. I don't know how common it is. But uh, definitely, like I said, I wouldn't recommend you buy this game just for the VR. Because the VR has several issues. Anyways, this has been my Let's Play Forgive Me Father in VR. Again, using the Unreal Engine 4 cheat. Just type in minus VR in the launch options to get it but yeah the visuals are great uh, I hope the developer at some point adds official VR support because I think this game is tailor-made for VR and I think it would be great basically you just have to fix the menus have a reticle in VR maybe a laser pointer and uh, you know, being able to see your house and bullets. Again, missing the uh, save point here. Or maybe I have to kill these guys here.
Okay, is there an old guy? There's usually an old guy here. Yeah, this is bugged. I think I have to quit and restart to get this to work. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.